Hello and welcome to Modelling Misadventures and in today's video I'm going to carry on with the Morris Marina van. Now in the last video I designed and printed this little small prototype and today I'm going to start scaling the parts up to make this into a 1 8 scale model which will be the same size actually as these cars you can see behind me on the shelf. Right, I'm just starting to print the first section of the Marina van in 1 8 scale and this is the rear half of the right hand side and it's got about another 21 hours to go. Well, that's the first uh, 1 8 scale piece coming off the printer and that has taken 20 hours and 5 minutes. So the 3D printer has been hard at it day and night and I've got myself here a box of bits and you get an idea from these parts here that the, you know, they're quite chunky and uh, quite large. So this gives you an idea of the size of this thing. You can see the little prototype at the back there and this is printed out in 1 8 scale. Now I can't just put this together because if you look at these parts they've got a lot of print lines on them. So this is now going to be the worst part of this entire model and that is sanding these body panels smooth. Horrible job but it's got to be done. This is very boring. This is very boring. Well, I've got the first piece sanded and I think you can see the difference here. This is the sanded piece and this is the non-sanded piece. Um, so the non-sanded piece very shiny you can see it's got lots of print lines on it uh, they all disappear when you do the sanding so that's coming along now i've just got to do all the others right i've got one side sanded so i'm going to glue it together that's looking all right now a little bit more uh, filling and sanding to get that side panel, but that's looking pretty good. A little bit of filling required. Well, after hours and hours of sanding and filling and sanding, got all my bits ready. So next, I'm going to glue it together. Well, that's the basic outer shell glued together. And uh, now it's time for some more filling and sanding. Well, I'm going to turn my attention to these here and I've got to make these back doors fit and there's not a very good fit here so a bit of uh, drilling and sanding around here to get that to fit. That's looking pretty good. Well these back doors are fit, fitting pretty well so I'm quite happy with that. Now I've got to do a bit of work on the interior because the roof is very rough and the sides are not right so I'm going to print a, a flat section for the roof here and I'm going to go to the 
computer design program and design some inner sides here that will make the interior of the van look better. Well, I'm quite chuffed with myself today because I've been learning a new 3D design program called Fusion 360. It's taken me ages to get into this, but it's a lot more versatile than what I was using before Tinkercad to design the original body shell. And so I've managed to design and 3D print this inner panel for the, the back of the van. Now I would never have been able to do this with Tinkercad, uh, getting these round shapes here of the, the mud guard um, um, and the curves here of the inner paneling. But uh, this looks really nice. And you can see here what it looks like inside. That's going to make a huge difference to the inside of the back. So really happy with that. So I've been designing and printing some new parts with the Fusion 360 program. Uh, I've got a floor for the back of the van. I've printed off this front end section here, with that hole in it. I've got a front grille and headlight panel and a new bumper bar. I'm gonna to have to do a little bit of cutting out to get this grill to fit in here. So I've cut that out and the grill fits in there like that. That's not bad, is it? And the bumper bar is gonna go on underneath. Now I need to think about fastening the doors on. So I found these hinges on Thingiverse. I'm going to use these for the side doors and uh, these are some hinges that I actually used on the Land Rover. I'm going to use those for the back doors. Now I've been thinking quite a bit about these front doors and on the real van there's a hidden hinge but on this one I'm going to have to do something like that and uh, try and disguise it as much as possible. It's not going to be totally realistic but I think it's going to be the easiest way to do it. I've got the doors on, and they're not brilliant, but they'll do. And now I've uh, 3D printed this windscreen surround. I'm gonna have to fit that now. Well, I've got it on, and you've guessed it, some filling and sanding. All right, now it's time to put this back piece in. That looks pretty good. Well, after weeks and weeks of printing, sanding, filling, sanding, filling, sanding, I've got all my parts here ready for painting. And I'm gonna start off with filler primer. Well, that's the first coat of filler primer and uh, had to do a little bit more filling and a bit of sanding, and then I'll put another coat on. All right, I've got those imperfections filled and sanded. So now I'm gonna go with white primer. Well here's all my bits after the white primer, a bit of final sanding and then I'm going to spray it with this gloss blue. Here we go. Right, now I'm just gonna do the top half. So I've got my blue bodywork now, and uh, I don't want it to have a really gloss shiny coat like that. Don't really like the finish. So I'm going to give it a coat of satin clear. Uh, I think that's gonna make it look more realistic. So that's it after the satin varnish, not looking too bad. So I'm just gonna put these bits on now. I just had another cock up, uh, trying to fit the bonnet. And uh, I should have test fitted it first before painting because 
it wouldn't open and I've had to do a bit of filing and drilling to get it to fit, but it should be all right now. Well, here we are at last with the basic bodywork finished. Uh, really happy with how this has uh, come out. Bonnet opens and closes. Uh, these doors are opening and closing. The uh, rear doors are opening, opening, and it looks looks pretty good inside. I'm quite happy with how that looks. So. Um, Still a lot of work to do on this. Uh, Got to sort out what's going to go on the bottom and inside the cab. But that's a good time to stop and take a break. So I'm going to say thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed seeing that getting to that stage. And hope to see you next time on Modelling Mesa Adventures.